Hi there, it's Matt here again from Australian Solar and Battery Energy Systems. Uh, we've been running testing on a uh, EcoFlow Delta uh, electric battery box, which is this unit here. Um, we've run it down so far to below 10%, whereupon we needed to, to charge it back up to 100 and see how long it would take under 240 volt plug-in charge to, to get it back to 100%. As you can see from the, the dial here, it's actually been charging for about an hour and 10 minutes and it's now up to 100% from pretty much zero. So what that means is if you are using it to go camping or uh, using it for a, a weekend trip on a boat, uh, you can go off to lunch and, and ask the cafe owner if you can plug it in for an hour and charge it up uh, and, and you're back up to full power, which is pretty fast recharging, probably two or three times faster than most other units on the market, so we, we like that. Today, one of the units we're testing is a induction cooker. Um, and to show uh, how this works, we're, we're looking at a, uh, a Breville single burner unit here, which looks like this. Perfect for camping and boating. And a litre of water. And the idea is to see if the unit can can charge this up quickly so you could make a, a spaghetti bolognese at the campsite or whatever, um, or indeed if your power has run out at home, um, you know, can you plug the freezer in and, uh, and cook at the same time? Well, we think the answer is yes. So what I'll do um, is I'll, I'll zoom the camera in in a second, but for now what we'll do is just stick it on boil for a liter of water. So I'll just zoom the camera down. And you can see um, how quickly this actually works. The fan has come on on the unit here because we're using full charge to get the um, 2100 watts to get the water up to, to boiling speed. And my guess is within between two and three minutes, that water will be boiling. Uh, just to recap on the, on the unit itself, um, we've actually got, um, the ability to charge this up by solar or by a car 12 volt plug as well. Um, it can be fully recharged by solar panels in just over four hours uh, and fully charged through a, a, a 12 volt carport in about 10 hours. Although I wouldn't recommend that unless your engine was running or you're, you're flattening your, your car battery. If you look back at the, the pail of water here, you can see uh, it's starting to bubble up already which is what we want. The unit itself also has four uh, AC outlets, uh, which obviously you could just plug in things like a hairdryer or an electric kettle, or of course your freezer, your Wi-Fi. And what you can see on the front of the unit here uh, are the 12 volt plugins. So that's where you can put in your uh, phone, laptop, computer, etc., which do tend to take a fair bit of power when you're traveling. As you can see, the water's starting to boil already. We'll be going for about 90 seconds. This little Breville unit uh, induction cooker cost me about $100 from the local electrical store. It's very portable, very handy in the event of an emergency or as I say, to take off camping or boating. Works perfectly with the Delta, and as you can see now, that water is already boiling, and as it does so, the uh, induction cooker automatically cuts down the amount of power it drains. And if I look at the gauge here with that pan of boiling water, I can see I've used uh, between three and 4% of my charge in the battery to get that pail of water going. So there we have a successful test. See anyone?